Alright, going to be doing a video showing the hypocrisy of Black Lives Matter and their racism towards white people. Let me show you this. This is from the Gateway Pundit. Apologize for the vexation. Uh, F white people. BLM supported a scream at elderly couple dining outdoors in Pittsburgh. Still the drinks off the table. They got a video there. Uh, this is the hypocrisy of the whole black supremacist Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, their racism. Basically, uh, they claim they're against racism, but then if you're a white person, they don't like you, basically. And they'll, they'll, ca they'll call you a white supremacist if you go against them. You know, just absolute hypocrisy. This is how BLM supporters treat elderly Americans, Black Lives Matter terrorists, scream, at senate, scream obscenities at elderly people dining outdoors in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on Sunday. And then you got, you know, expletive, 12 expletive, white people, you old, you know, expletive wonderful language from these um, racist black supremacists. <clears throat> One BLM militant yelled to a peaceful elderly white man sitting at the table. Woman, a woman in their marched over to the couple, grabbed a drink from their table, and drank out of it. Wow, that's wonderful. But, but, oh no, but they're, they're not racist. Sure. Again, the hypocrisy of these uh, black supremacists so much for worrying about COVID-19. Other violent Biden supporters were breaking uh, glassware and intimidating diners. And you got the video there. I'm not going to show it because there's you know, some cussing in it. You don't need to be vexed. Another Black Lives Matter terrorist physically assaulted a white man uh, walking his bike on near Pennsylvania Avenue near uh, Standard Market in Pins House. And you got a video for that one too. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is starting to give out. You know. Oh no, oh no, but they're against racism, you know. It, it's it just the whole black supremacist, you know, black power movement, uh, the Jesuit control black power movement, total hypocrisy. Uh, what is this one? It begins. Black Lives Matter mob demands that white people move out of their homes and leave them for black people. You know, coming to coming to soon to a Democrat-run city, city near you. Now I want to point out. No, I don't fall for this whole. Democrat versus Republican, you know, Jesuit scam that it is. Um, the, the, the Democrats and the Republican Party, they're both just Jesuit controlled. It's a false dichotomy that them, you know, against each other. It's a whole false dichotomy. Not going to go into that in this video, but uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, for either one of them. They're both Jesuits, Democrats and Republicans. A Black Lives Matter mob held a rally uh, in a gentrified neighborhood, in a gentrified neighborhood, reportedly in Seattle on Wednesday, where they demanded that white people leave their homes and give them to black people. You know, why don't you just get a job and get your own home? You know, instead of just ranting about white people. There's a video there again. Not going to play it because due to vexation reasons. Reasons. That's the end of that article. And here's, here's one I showed in one of my other videos. Black Lives Matter leader in Toronto believes that white people are subhuman, calls them genetic defects, and begs, you know, Allah, the uh, Muslim god, to help her not kill white folks. And not to mention most of the, the BLM, you know, founders were um, Marxists and communists, which, again, is Jesuit. Also, and also they hate, uh, I mean, they clearly hate white people. It just And they also hate Israel, too. All that, all that you know, Jesuitical type stuff. Old social media post written by Black Lives Matter co-founder um, Toronto Yusura Kaho Kala Act. I'm not going to bother saying this uh, racist name. This other little black supremacist, black supremacist name. Tongue twister. Are making rounds this week. She wrote in 2016, white people are genetic def defects of blackness, a single in a sin since deleted Facebook post. You know. But then they have the gall to claim they're not racist. You know, again, the hypocrisy of these um, racist black supremacists. Whiteness is, n is, um, is not, misspelling it, spelling error right there, not humanness, I guess you tried to wrote right. In fact, white skin is subhuman. White people are, are recessive genetic defects. This is factual. You know, no studies to back that up. Uh, where is, it's gonna, I've, I already read this in one of my other videos, but. There's a picture of her little tweet, you know. So it's it's uh, it was February 2016 when she posted that. You know, I'm not gonna go through the whole article, but you get the picture. The Black Lives Matter movement, they're hypocrites. They're they're uh, filled with racism, filled with hate towards white people. They're fascist. They're Nazi-like. You know. 
they're not they're not you know they're not someone they're not a group that Christians ought to be supporting because first of all they, and and also they support the whole sodomite agenda they support the whole transvestite agenda so just wanted this video kind of warning about Black Lives Matter um, and it's kind of funny because black babies are aborted in abortion clinics like in massive numbers and these guys these BLM um, Marxist Nazis, these racists, don't say a word on that. So, just food for thought. Uh, don't be deceived by Black Lives Matter. They are racist. They are uh, fascist. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all our brethren. Goodbye.